Well, good morning. Here we are, Monday morning, rounding third and kind of down that final stretch of what has been, from my perspective, a 21 days of prayer and fasting has been spectacular. Man, I've seen God move in some very close and personal situations that um, you can call it coincidence. I call it the Spirit of God working and moving in our life. And Jerry and I, every time when we get to this just by how we feel and it's been nice to push away from sugar and some other things, we just look at each other and go, why don't we do this more? It's not a diet. It, this is not a diet. This is a spiritual discipline. And it's been really good. It's been great to hear some of the stories. And I don't know that I've ever seen Hill Spring as energized and as thirsty and hungry for the things of God as I have in this season and in this year. And, and for me, one of the things about fasting is it's flexing that no muscle. You know what I'm saying I I can get I can get lazy. Uh, there's some things I should say no to, but I get out of the habit of saying no. And my thought this morning goes to 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. It says physical training is good. So new year new us, right? Let's do what we need to do. We need healthy bodies. God's got a lot of work for you and I to do. We want to make sure that we have the the physical strength, physical stamina to to do that. And now's the time. All right, so physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better, promising benefits in this life, in the life to come. And so, man, that's part of what this fasting does is it exercises and it flexes that no muscle. I'm gonna push away from some comforts of life, gonna push away from culture, gonna push away from social media, I'm gonna push away from sweets or, or whatever dietary things that you're doing. And uh, just being in that discipline, that spiritual discipline of saying no to some things so that I can say a better yes. Scott, here we are in this last week and want to finish strong. Lord, I pray that over the, the last two weeks of this fasting and this intentional time of prayer, God, that your spirit has been so close. And when we, we sit down with our Bible or we start to pray, that your spirit just rushes in. And Lord, it's this attempt of uh, just, just living a more disciplined life Father, so that our finances, our personal health, the dominoes in our life can be in better shape to make a difference for the kingdom. Love you and excited about, just with anticipation, what the result of these seeds that we planted in these 21 days of prayer and fasting are going to bear fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow.